dynamicartstore.com to get the cars. Right. Icons, legends aiming at the stars. Personally, at checkout to save your points. And now your bank account won't be staying empty. empty. Dynamicartstore.com. Right. Use code Hursty. Go on. Hey there, guys. Welcome back to Hursty Games and welcome to Eze to Glory. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this series. I'm having so much fun filming it. Hopefully you guys are having fun watching it. So welcome back to the series. If you've missed any of the other episodes, then please go and get yourself all nice and caught up. There is a playlist. Go watch that and then catch up with us here. Now, a few things I want to say. Firstly, in the last episode, we had a game that before I got into the game, the person paused it and quit, which is why Eze's got 13 games played instead of an even number. Just wanted to throw that one out there and clarify it. But, I mean, you guys know there's games where I've lost like 10-0 or 10-1. Uh, so I'm not going to leave games and act like they didn't happen. What happens, happens. That is the series. Another thing I want to say, uh, at the end of the last episode, I had a win and I didn't open up packs. So I will be um, opening up packs to start off this video. Thirdly, I've kind of made a bit of an executive decision here and done something slightly different with the upgrades. Now, the vote was the closest it has ever been, and that was the option of getting in um, a Spanish League centre-back gold and a rare silver left-back or getting in Opara and a non-rare uh, silver um, left-back from the Liga Santander. Before I filmed that, we didn't have a certain card in the game. If we did, I'd have suggested that card instead of Opara and the left-back. And that is the rule-breaker Opara. Now, his price is only going to increase while he's out of packs longer. So I made the executive decision and I changed the upgrade from Gold Opara and the left back to just Rule Breaker Opara. And I used the assist we had for the chem style to put a shadow onto that Opara as well. So we've got the Rule Breaker Opara. He is in the squad now. He is going to be our player. The intention will be in the next upgrade, regardless, we will get a Spanish uh, left back, regardless. That it has to happen in both options of the next upgrade because that was agreed upon to be an upgrade. So regardless of what happens, he will be upgraded this episode. Obviously, the other goals and stuff that potentially happen in the career mode or in the career mode, in the episode, sorry, don't know where that came from, uh, will potentially be other players too. But that is our primary focus. He will be upgraded regardless. Okay, so I've got six packs. Now there's a couple of decent packs here. There's a couple of stinkers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the silver pack because that doesn't massively impact us unless we get a rare silver that we could potentially put into the team in an upgrade. Uh, and it means that we could potentially save ourselves a few coins because those uh, div rival placement coins are running out fast. We get Rossi. Now that is MLS. We do have MLS players, but he's not going to get any form of chem. That is a downgrade on the keeper. We've got loads of MLS players there, but... Uh, no one that's particularly going to go into the team, if I'm honest with you. Um, so we're probably just going to keep these guys in the club, potentially using for something else going forward. Um, I also have a gold rewards pack. So again, a stinker, so I'll use this. I know we get a player in this, but it's going to be a non-rare. So again, another kind of dud pack here that will open up as well. We get Thomas. So he's Australian, does link to the right back. But again, he's never going to go into the team because he's never going to be helpful for us. I think what we'll do is I'm going to open up the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, and then I've got these other packs potentially if we get another win, potentially today. So we'll open up this Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, see if there's anything of help in there for us. It is a rare player. It is not a walkout, and it is a board. Okay, that could be good. That might be an inform, actually. So a special card is always going to be good to see. That is going to be an inform. I, oh, that's not helpful at all. The league is not a good one. It's Tverkson is how I'm going to say that. There could be potentially a board behind it. Um, I'm going to assume this is an untradeable pack. Uh, we get Booth on it. It's actually tradable, so actually, that is pretty darn good for coins. So I might end up quick selling him just to get the coins in the club. Um, Doug oh, Douglas Louise is not awful, not great for chemistry, um, but he is indeed a Premier League player. Um, and other than that, what I'm going to do is send everything else to the club because realistically, a win today. Could do an SBC, could be helpful. Um, but yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to jump into our first game and uh, hopefully goals. That's what we need today, as per every episode, upgrades. Okay, game number one, and we come up against a pretty darn good team. There's a few players, obviously, with their new player faces, so I almost didn't recognise Inaki Williams there, but uh, it's a good squad. It's going to be a tough game. 
mate. Opara with a fantastic block slash interception, whatever you want to call it. All I'm saying is it was beautiful. Eze keeps that ball. Oh, mate, honestly, uh, Lucas Hernandez. Or is it? The, no, it's Lucas Hernandez. Absolute nightmare to play against. But, mate, Opara again. Uh, you know what? This was a great plan, I'm telling you. Opara. Oh, Opara just gets beat there. That's the first time Opara's been beat. Honestly, he has made about 10 tackles. He has been ridiculous. But we do go one look down to a Rodrigo strikes. That's a real, real shame. Now, though, I have worked out. And Eze is now playing striker. So, it turns out, defensive. I need to go to my defensive tactics next time. <laughs> Oh, another chance through. Oh, Fry makes a save. It still goes in. 2-0 down. Oh, it's all going a little bit wrong, I won't lie. And Bomb in the middle. Going to play the ball here up to Eze. Eze got the beating of Kimpembe. He can't beat Hernandez, but he can beat Kimpembe. Loses the ball there. Ariola comes out and smothers it. A chance wasted, honestly. Ball's up to He Chan. He Chan's going to hold it up. Going to play it to Eze. Eze with the first touch, with the strike. Good save from Ariola. A very good keeper this year, uh, according to a lot of people. So Eze's going to whip this ball in there. Opara climbs high. Doesn't get it, though. Maya has won the ball in a really good spot here. Now, Maya has got a bit of a chance here to try and help us start an attack. Going to turn around. Going to play that ball up to He Chan. Down to Eze. Eze just does the time beat Hernandez. But Ariola again with another save. I cannot believe we haven't scored that one there. The first time. Eze gets the ball past Blumen uh, Hernandez, and we mess up that cross as well. Honestly, that should be 2-1. That should have been an upgrade. That's not good enough. Well, it's 2-0 at half-time. How many times do I say in this series? 2-0 feels a little bit harsh done by, because we haven't played badly. We've dominated the ball, dominated possession. I have to say, Opara has been fantastic. What a pickup he's going to be in the back line. If we had some better players around him, he would be incredible. I think the plan has got to be that we get a better keeper and go with the Santander on that side because, mate, uh, Fry is not good enough. So we need to find a good um, Liga Santander keeper, someone nice and overpowered to throw in there. But for now, we've got to concentrate on trying to get that upgrade. Eze has been close on a number of occasions but hasn't found the back of the net. That needs to change in this second half and upgrades needed. Get the ball up to He Chan. He Chan's going to turn, plays it out to Bostigan here. Bostigan going to have to stop, turn, lovely stuff. Up to Ibire Eze. Eze. Beats. Oh my god, he beats Hernandez. Pulls it onto his left. Eze, come on. That's a great goal. That's really good stuff there from Eze. Also going to have to say, big, big part of that as well. Fair play to him. But that's an upgrade and a really good goal. To potentially see us back into like, making a bit of a comeback here. Because honestly, I don't think we played badly. Also going to see the run here from He Chan. Eze, please, please come and catch up. Eze, please come and catch up. Double one from He Chan. He Chan's going to turn back to Eze. Eze, oh, the bad touch there from Eze. Honestly, we probably should have done better again. Not just Eze to blame there. Uh, I blame myself too, but Eze now with the ball. Let's it run through. It's going to stop. It's going to heel to heel. Eze in on his right. Oh, mate. Ball down here with Antonio. He Chan up to Eze. Eze is going to pull it on his right. Eze with the finesse. It's a save from Ariola. Mate, how have we not got back into this game? Bostigan up to Knight. Lovely bit of triangle play here, but He Chan's going to ignore the pass back to Bostigan. Initially, oh, keeps it. Go on, mate. Love that. Going to play it to Bostigan, who's not that quick, so he's not going to get in behind as much as that guy probably thought he would. Bostigan, sweat. Come on now. Two goals, both with Eze. Bostigan with two assists as well. I have to say, big showing from Bostigan. And that is us back in it. Two goals, two upgrades. Come on. Eze. Lovely stuff here. Eze now. Wait for the run from He Chan. We don't necessarily need to try and get it to Eze because we can get the win here. If we find the back of the net, which we do, that's an assist for Abire Eze. What a strike from He Chan. You beautiful, beautiful man. That is a belter, mate. What a goal. 3-2 in the lead. Come on. I've got the chance out here on the wing. Lovely tackle there from Billingsley. Absolutely perfect tackle and it did need to be I'm going to play this out to Bostigan because I think they expected the pass to either He Chan or Eze. But Bostigan, been an absolute unit. He Chan, hold on. Eze, surely not. Eze, what a save from, oh my god, Ariola with a fantastic save there. Opara, be the winning man here. It's not going to be Opara. It is cleared, but not very far. We get it here. Bostigan, lovely turns. Keep it alive. That's such a waste. And we've given him the last chance of the game here, potentially. Adama Traer on the wing. Just foul him. Just take him down. No way. It's about seven against one. 
Fry getting goal. Fry, no way, I've lost it. I've actually lost it. I've actually lost the game. I can't believe it. I genuinely can't believe it. I've bottled it, boys. It has been officially bottled this game. Deary, deary me. Well, you win some, you lose a lot. That's what's happened here. Sadly, 4-3. Oh, man, we go from 2-0 down, 3-2 up, and we lose 4-3. Goals that I couldn't do too much about, but at the end of the day, I should have held on to the lead much better than I did. It is what it is, boys. I want to watch that He Chan goal again because that was absolutely phenomenal from He Chan. Look at this goal here. This is absolutely beautiful stuff. Bang, that is right in that top corner. But I think you saw there as well, Opara did actually get um, a very, very... Oh, no, it was Eze that got... I thought Suresh said Opara. Probably got a 6.7. That is not doing him justice because he was phenomenal in that game. Mate, what a game. But I can't believe we lost it. Well, after a pretty tough loss to take, we're going to go straight into our next game. And that right there is a phenomenal team. Fernandinho may be a weakness. Other than that, oh dear. Lovely stuff there. We're getting it up to Bosdegan. Down to Bosdegan again. Eze, get yourself into space. Eze in space. That is in the back of the net. That is a third goal for Eze today. That is three upgrades. Things you do, in fact, love to see. Bosdegan, by the way, has had an absolute blinder today. He is on fire. Him and Opara have honestly been the players of today's episode. They've been great. Oh, they get the ball through here. Alba doesn't quite stop it. It's an easy sweat for him. Simple goal. Lucas taps it in the bottom corner. Mate, again, we're just conceding chances that really we shouldn't. And I do think a large part of that is just down to the quality of some of our defenders. Opara has been a huge upgrade, but that left-hand side is making quite a few mistakes. Oh, this is a problem. Werner up against Alba. Alba, of course, with about 40 pace. Opara doesn't quite get that. I've committed Opara. Therefore, we play it down. And that, I think, was... Uh, oh, it's Havertz. I thought it was going to win Sun. So, Havertz makes it 2-1. Oh, it's a problem, man. It's, uh, again, we're in a good position to start the game off. We concede two before half time. It's it's never going to be good if you concede in that many goals before half time. That's half time. We do go down 2 1 at half time. It's a real, real shame because, again, we've had our chances. Again, we went 1 0. Well, actually, I say again, we didn't go 1 up in the last game, but we've gone 1 up this time and had that chance to hold on to a lead. But we have given away a lead again just like the last game. So. It's a tricky game. It's, this guy's obviously a good player and it's, it's been tricky to break him down. But at least we got the goal with Eze. That does give us three upgrades, which is a really good start to boost in this squad a little bit. But again, possession, we're all over him. But we're just not making the chances this time round. He chan going to play it off to Eze. Eze, lovely turn. Eze on his left foot. Eze with the back of the net. Come on, what a finish there. It's another goal for Eze. Four goals in this series. This series? It's been a lot more than that. Four goals in this episode. And that is four upgrades. Lovely stuff. Gets us back into a game at 2-2 yet again. Oh, I've given the ball away. Knight yet again with an awful pass. But Blumino Para, what a unit. Not a unit there. Get nowhere near that one. Alba again. His pace is a problem. Haber scores and makes it 3-2. But, mate, I'm just, again, the odd player here or there. Just because of their rating, it becomes a problem. Some of the passing has been bad. My, I just can't make like attacks with bad passes and it's just a problem because mate it's so tricky enough already having to defend with players that can't defend when those same players also can't pass to get out of your own half it's a problem here and they also can't catch Timo Werner but Fry just about gets to that one come on we've still got a chance boys it's been a real shame this has been a really good like end-to-end -end game and he's just been passing around the back for like the last 10-15 minutes it just kills what has been a phenomenal game and it's a real waste because Honestly, again, this game could have gone either way, but he's just killing it off, just passing around the back. It's a real buzzkill. I'm, I'm genuinely gutted because this has been a really good competitive game and he's, he's ruined it in the last 10 minutes by doing this. But at the end of the day, if it gets you the win, mate, it gets you the win. You beat a bronze defence, I'm happy for you. But, mate, it's such a stinker because we had so many good chances. We could have won that game, but too scared to lose to a bronze team, I guess. Okay, so four goals today from Eze means that we get to get ourselves four new upgrades. So I'm going with two options of plus two, both of which involve upgrading our left back to a non-rare silver. I said I'd stick to that because obviously that's what I was meant to be doing last time, so I'm sticking to that. 
Nomura Silva, left back regardless. I'm looking at Ahen Munoz. It could be I end up picking someone else if this guy ends up being ridiculously priced. He is also high attacking and defensive. He is medium, so that might end up altering my decision eventually. But option number one is to upgrade the left back and our Spanish centre back to a Nomura Silva. Again, looking at Jorge Sainz. Jorge, I don't know how you say his name regardless. This guy potentially or I could go with some of the other guys as well. There are some pretty good players up for grabs um, for the Nomura Silvers, at least at centre back. This guy's six foot four and 65 pace. I thought, you know what? Him and Opara could be a good little duo for now. Him being the crazy height that he is. And then obviously Opara just being ridiculously good, which he was. Uh, but the other option is to, again, go with a plus two on the left back to a Spanish left back. And then going with a plus two on Knight, who, by the way, is not good at passing, which is the only reason I've considered this one as an option, and to bring in Chowdhury. So uh, Chowdhury obviously was in uh, our one last time. Uh, the other option here is I could go for Livermore or I could go for Shackleton, I believe his name is, from Leeds. So again, to go to a non-rare... Um, sorry a rare premier league silver in the midfield so basically your option are do we options are do we go to what i'm going to say is chowdhury or do we go to jorge sainz because regardless the left back has been upgraded and i probably will go with ahen munoz uh so the options will be we either go with jorge sainz uh as the upgrade or chowdhury so let me know poll will be in the pinned comment of the comment section so make sure you find your way to the comment section and vote but that right there is going to be the end of today's episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's episode. Thank you, of course, to everyone who has watched it. If you enjoyed it, then please do leave a like on the video. It massively supports me, the stream, the video, everything. The stream It's a series. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, then please do hit that sub button. It would be greatly appreciated. And, of course, if you want to see uh, whenever we upload a video, be notified, then turn on notifications, and you'll be told any time that we upload a video or indeed go live with a live stream. But for now, guys, once again, massive thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome. I am the one who Look up, guys, and of course, wash your hands. What? In a bit. Nah, nah, his name is Hursty. Slap bald head, yeah, it'll probably hurt me. Bang top bins, yeah, it'll probably hurt you. Ginger, streamer, platform, YouTube. Drop a name in the chat, or say hello. Entertain, yeah, you already know. Capital H, yeah, I'm a read it slow. Hursty games, yeah, you already know.